You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building. 
for what that was worth. I'd woken up with a headache, and it was only getting worse. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Like we'd seen the worst of it, the elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. <laughs> 